Hey, this is Farmer Teacher on Farming Simulator 22. We're back on Hoop Belleron. I think this is part six. And let me see. I think we're going to plant some. It's September, so I'm going to plant some uh, barley right here. So we'll get him going. Just to recap here, we have, oops, let's see, we have those fields, 15, 17, 19, 20, and uh, 16 there. And right here we got canola, we got sunflowers in here, and I'm putting barley here, and I think I'm going to do grass in this one with the hopes of later doing silage. Hopes of later doing silage. You can see what's planted there. Uh, let's see. Fertilized. I gotta go back and fertilize these. I didn't do it. Let's see. Where's my fertilizer? Should have done it yes or last month. Getting ahead of myself here. So my sunflowers are okay, but I should have fertilized after I planted here uh, in August, and I did not. And then I could have fertilized it again today, or this month. But oh well, we'll be, we'll be fine. We'll just fertilize it again uh, in October, because it's not coming out until the summer anyway. Got him going. Let's see, real quick at the calendar here. So we could plant barley in September. We planted canola last month. We're fertilizing that. Our sunflowers will be harvested next month. So oh, this guy's done petered out on him. I think I'm not far enough over. Let's see. Hate when they do that. Yep. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that's got it. So I got him fertilizing, the other guy's planting. I think when I'm done planting the uh, barley there, I'm gonna go ahead and put grass in the other field. Let me see, checking my money here. I can borrow, looks like 145,000. I'll need a grass cutter. Let's see if they get anything in the used market. They do not, they do have a tractor though, let's see. Up here, grass, mowers, that's too small. I want to get one of these at least. I get that and those two. Yeah, probably get those because my tractors will pull that. Or maybe this one. It's a good bit more though. This one is 8.3 meters wide and this one is 10 meters wide. But it's three times the money. So we're, we're going to get the smaller one. Save a little of our money. And let's see if I want to make hay. I'll need a tether. And we're also going to need a windrower. Okay, they're not too expensive. I'd probably get that one. 
16. And I like the bigger wind rowers though because they make your rows easier to pick up. This is a pretty good one right there for 41. Probably get that thing. So 41, 25. I think we can do it. And then later, after a few runs of that, I want to get this baler that wraps it. Probably that one. Let's see, that makes round bales. That's okay. Round bales, 125. that would work this would work make a 150 size so we're looking at you know 7500,000 for the baler and then I got to have something to pick that up you can use the front of your tractor, but that takes forever. So I want a bail loader, and I think they're like a hundred grand. Oh, 50,000, 130 horsepower. So that would work. So I need 50 for that, 150. We'll get there. Fertilize by the field here. All right, so I'm going to let that run, and we'll be back in a minute, and uh, probably going into the next month and start harvesting uh, sunflowers. See you in a bit. Bye. Okay, we're back. We've completed, uh, we planted barley in the top field there, field 38, and we planted grass in field 39. So I'm going to run up here and rinse this off. Have it cleaned it a little bit. It's pretty dirty. I like the layout of this little farm. Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty dirty. This little sprayer costs forty-five hundred dollars. You'll find it under tools menu there under construction. Put him up. this okay we're going to fertilize this and hop into the next day well, we're here in October it's time to uh, harvest our sunflowers but it's raining right now so we'll have to wait a little bit if you remember, I forgot to, I forgot to uh, fertilize my canola fields when I first planted them. So I'm a, little, I'm a day, you know, a month behind fertilizing that. So I have to fertilize them again, and then fertilize what 
I planted. So I got to fertilize all these fields. And then they'll all be, uh, you know, have the final fertilization set in there. So I'll do that and hopefully the rain will quit in a second. Be back in a minute. Okay, we finished uh, fertilizing all our fields and the rain has stopped. So we're going to grab our harvester and start harvesting the sunflowers. Put this little tractor up here. Let's see, where's our harvester? Here we go. Well, we had the wrong header. Oh, I don't think we have a header. You know what? We're going to have to put the header down and go get one. Planted the sunflowers, but we never bought, pretty sure we never bought a sunflower header. So let's borrow a little bit of money. Now let me see what a header cost. We have the Duke's Bar top line of 4090. So if we go up here to harvesters. We got this one and if I'm doing corn I can get this one for 32 and that's pretty quick so we're gonna buy that let me see I need 32 grand go to the bank we'll put any back we don't need before the end of the day Let's go pick it up. We can do a little maintenance on our harvester while we're up at the shop. Needs a little. At some point, might want to cut some of these trees down, make it a little easier, especially on the end of the field. A little easier to get the edges and get a little money back. Now, one negative thing about this harvester is, I mean, it gets you going, but it only goes 12 miles an hour, so it's relatively slow. You know, some of the John Deere's go 26, uh, some of the other ones go 19, so this is uh, on the slower end of the scale here. Takes you a minute. there. So what we're going to do is go over here and do a little maintenance first. Well, if I can get in there. It's kind of blocking the way. I can get in there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to back in so I can get to the uh, harvest over there. Oops. $817. Well, at least we got it done. Jump back in, pick up our header. Uh, 
Oops, wrong button. All right, we'll see you back at the farm. Back at the farm, starting to harvest our sunflowers here. There you go. See what we got going on our calendar. So we're harvesting sunflowers. Nothing else really happening right now. I'll tell you what, while that's doing that, we're gonna put some water in our greenhouses. Water source isn't too far away. Whoa, drinking and driving again. Uh oh, behave yourself, here comes a car. Hard right. Hard left. Now this map came with a little water tank there, but I like to get it myself. I may, they have a mod that's a little well. Let me put that on there. All right, filling that up. Check on him. It's only 23% full, doing good. Pretty water. Incidentally, on the, this, uh, Vehicle here's a mod, pretty good one. You can use it for milk or water. When you first get it, you have to remember to open the little things on top, the covers. If you don't, it won't take water, and you can't figure out what's wrong with it. Pretty quiet inside. Okay, we're going to head back to the farm and then I'll come back when we got our first load of sunflowers to dump. See you in a second. Okay, looks like our, we're about full here. Let me grab my trailer. We do have crop destruction turned off or I wouldn't be driving over the sunflowers. Uh, if you want a little more realistic game, you can turn that on. I do sometimes. trailer is big enough to collect the whole field before we go dump it, so we'll wait. Get this dumped up. We'll be back. While that's finishing up, we're going to go grab our cultivator. I 
can come over here and start cultivating some of this field. So, there we go. Luckily with sunflowers, you know, you, you plant them in October or I'm sorry, you harvest in October, but you don't have to plant until March. Now canola, it's a quick turnaround. You harvest one month, and the next month you gotta replant it. So uh, cultivating is really important for canola to get that started right away. Not so much for sunflowers. Okay, got him going. See how our harvest is doing. 29% full. Be back in a minute. Okay, we finished harvesting all the sunflowers and we're going to go dump this. Let's see how much we have here. Done. Next month we can sell our canola. That's coming up. So when we're done with this, we're gonna to to go to the next month and sell our canola, see how much money we can get. Okay, we're at the fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand sunflowers be a pretty good chunk of money when we sell that. Now usually this is in the spring when you sell that. So we're gonna go dump this. This is not my strongest tractor. It's pretty good load for it. Up these heels in. But it does the job. This little uh stire. It's struggling just a little bit. Get the speed here. Beautiful day in October. Look at those trees. I love that about seasons that you actually, you know, adds a little uh, flavor to it, a little variety in the seasons. Let me change. this in our silo because it's not the best time to sell it right now. We're going to wait till springtime when we can get the most money. And as you can see here when we go up here we've got some canola to sell, quite a bit of that, and our sunflowers there, and then barley. And it looks like canola we're going to sell next month. Barley probably December and March for probably sunflowers. There we go. I'll just leave this out because we're going to go back to the silo tomorrow. Put them away. Put him away and we'll go into tomorrow. I think I'm gonna wash this guy real quick. He's looking a little dirty. Had her not so much, I just added that, but he's been through a few uh, runs here, getting kind of dirty. Well, here we are in November, uh, and it's raining, 
but also our grass is ready to cut we don't have any grass stuff so what we'll do is get our trailer going here with canola so we can sell the canola sell this let's see where we want to sell it canola Wait. yeah looks like the grain elevator Hopefully this works. And he's off. And while he's doing that, we got to go pick us up a uh, lawnmower so we can cut this grass. So let's see. We need about twenty-five, about thirty-five thousand. Get a little more money from the bank. drop the weight. I'm going to drop the fertilizer first or it's going to flip. Drop my weight. Hope this little tractor will do it. Needs a little maintenance anyway. So we'll go to the shop, get some maintenance. Sells that load, and they have enough. You can borrow money and then pay it back the same day. You don't pay interest on it until the night time when you go to the next month. So that's kind of cool. Just on the tractor because the mower is brand new. So $800 at maintenance. Maintenance on farming similar to 22 is pretty steep. Uh, and what you can do, I have another farm where I'm using vintage tractors because they're so much less expensive. You don't have as much maintenance on those. Okay, we're heading back to the farm. 
I probably should have used a little more powerful tractor because this little thing is trying to get up the hill at four miles an hour. This is my wheat tractor. My small one there is great around the farm, you know, carrying a load, but uh, long distance trying to go up these hills, it's uh, tough. Uh, but anyway, it'll make it. We'll get a little more money. And uh, we'll start this grass here in just a second. Okay, we're back to our grassy field. When you use this double pieced mower, you have to open on console, you hit, you know, the LB key and then the hit A and it opens one. Then you gotta hit Y to switch to the other one and then open it. So you gotta remember to switch uh, between pieces there, between equipment or it won't open everything. And, and you start it you know, out here. Get him going. Oops. Not quite. Actually a little bit too far to the right, but it's alright. He'll catch up here. Yeah, it'll be fine. Alright, so he's cutting that. Oh no. I don't really have enough for a baler and all that. So we'll probably well, let me see. See how much money I got. Once my load hits, let's check on our delivery guy. He is so close. We are about to get a load of this. I'm seeing what we get. 34,000. We still got about another 10, I think, in the uh, in the silo. Yeah, 9,200. But this is the only tractor I got. I needed the bigger one for the mower and the other one for cultivating, so... Ultimately, I guess I might have to upgrade my tractor and put this bigger trailer in it. But it works, it makes it there slowly, but it makes it there. All right, we got a chunk of change from that. Let's see what we get here $73,000. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good price for that canola. So let's look at our money. Uh, I can borrow about 75, well, 65. I need a windrower and baler. By the time I dump the next load, we might be okay. I don't know what happened. It didn't go. Maybe I hit the button by accident. Turned off. It's supposed to come back to the farm. So we'll just do this. Have it come back. All right. He's on his way back. Check on the other dude. He's doing pretty good. So I really don't have a third tractor. You know, you could, if you had enough tractors, you could wind row once he's ahead. I could do hay, then I gotta have a tether. I can get the baler. Let me see how much money I need. So if they're gonna use stuff. Nope. I gotta be able to pick up the bales too. Dang it. I just don't know if I can do that yet. My wind rower. If I get this one, that's 40,000. My baler. Seventy-eight. I like to get this one just because it makes a little bigger bales. One of those two. 
to 40 and 80. 125. Then I need the bell loader, which is 50, 175,000. And I have 90 now. <coughs> So I can only borrow about 160, but I still got the other load to sell. I may be able to do it. And plus the 50 I won't need for a little bit once it till it ferments. So by then I would have sold uh, some other crops next month I think we're going to be okay so we're going to do this in the silage and this is done so I'll let him cut and I'll take the other load there and we'll be back so my cultivator is done so I switched uh, tractors out so I'm going to carry this other $9,200 or 92 liters of uh, canola with this tractor because it's quicker So he's going to take that, hopefully it works, he's going. And what I'm going to do then is go buy, borrow a little more money, because I got to buy this windrower here from the shop. And I think I'll get this one. I only need 90 horsepower to pull it. Pretty sure my little tractor here has that. Small tractor has 135, so I should be fine. So we're gonna to go to the shop and pick up my windrower. Okay, so what the windrower does is it puts it in nice little neat rows. Let me open this thing up here. So you can pick it up with the baler or a forage wagon, but in this case, we're gonna bale it. I think you can make silage out of it. go he's going our lawnmower guy is full close this up switch close the other one let's put him away so we just need to go pick up a baler Oh, we just got 19,000, about 20,000 for that other 9,200 liters of canola. Let's see, how am I going to do this? I'm just going to put this right here in my backyard. Until I figure something out. Alrighty. And this is, which tractor do I have here? It's a Massey Ferguson. It's like 170 horsepower. That should be plenty. To get my baler so let's borrow some more money now we're going to be uh we have a lot of loans out there he's stuck for some reason did that last time i don't know why he sticks there okay we'll send him to the house He's off. This guy's working. And let's go pick up our baler. Okay, we'll go get the baler and we'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm actually purchasing this one for 100 grand. I've used that on some other farms. You got a little more flexibility there in the long run. Uh, wait a minute, I need 150 horsepower. Yeah, my tractor's okay. Just can't do it with my tiny one. And there she is. We'll get this back to the farm and try it out. Okay, we're back with our baler. And what you gotta do is uh, change the bell size. We've done that already. But you have 180 is the biggest one, but you can't wrap that. So the biggest you can wrap on this one is 150, and that's what we wanna do, because we wanna have the wrapper on. So we're gonna get up here, lower the pickup, turn it on. some bales. First row is kind of light. Next one will be heavier and fill up quicker, which is okay. Getting cool. Uh, you want to back up a tad and feel, wait a second. And then you can continue forward while it's wrapping. You don't have to skip a little bit of grass. Right when it gets full, wait till it gets the uh, bells over here. Now I'm gonna wait and dump that over here as soon as I get up here a little bit. Okay, I can go ahead and dump that now. You can set it on automatic, but I like being in control of that because sometimes it'll dump them right at the end of the field and they go rolling down the hill. Okay, now back up again a little bit. Now I can take off forward again while that's wrapping. I love this baler because it wraps too. I have the smaller ones before I've used them, and you have to go back and use a, you know, a wrapper. Dump that bale. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bell this, and it looks like my, uh, my wind rower is getting close to getting done. He should stay well ahead of us. This is going to take a minute. We'll be back shortly. Hey, we're back. We made all our bells. Everything's belled up, laying there. We need a collector. I'm a little short for money uh, to get it, and it is December, so it is time to go sell uh, some barley. So we're gonna go sell some barley. Best price is in December. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do. And hopefully we'll have enough money to get a bale collector and we can collect our silage and fertilize that field. So this should give us enough. I'm using my more powerful tractor for the trailer because it's a little quicker. Barley. go so I'm gonna deliver that to that one and he's off I hope Okay, so we're gonna go deliver this and see what we get. Be right back. Okay, we're at the drop-off point here to sell this stuff. And this track, that's 190 horsepower for this tractor. It struggled a little up the hill too. So a little, little bit weak for this uh, power push trailer because it holds a lot, but it made it. 
and it's easier going down. Let's see how much money we're going to get now. We should have plenty now to get the uh, mail collector. So once we get that, get that up and running, we'll make some pretty good money off the silage. Okay, you got 20, almost 29000 for that. Okay, so that's coming back. And what we're going to do, borrow a little more money. And we don't have much more to borrow, but a little bit. And we're going to get this bell collector. Right there. Make sure it does round bells. It does. And we're going to get that. And it only needs, I think it needs 130 horsepower. So anything, these others will pull that, or 150 maybe. But these will pull it. It's less than what we uh, have on the tractor here. Well, maybe. That's my wheat tractor. Hold on. It needs 130. Well, this is still 135. Should work. All right, so we're going to pick that up and come back and pick up the bales. Okay, we're going to collect these bales. Uh, now, just to show you what you want to do, they have to sit here and ferment. And if you walk up to it, put your hand on it, you can see the percentage. It's at 93%. So uh, later today or next month, they'll be ready to sell. Let me see when you get the most for these things. Let's see, for silage. So it's not, if you sold it right now, I'd just get money for grass. Okay, it looks like you're going to get the best price in January anyway. So next month. And uh, so I'm going to unfold this thing over that. Now this is so much easier than using a fork on the front of a tractor. I'm trying to pick these things up. Look how easy this is. Plus you have them all together. When you go to dump them, it's very easy also. So I got to pick up all these bales and fertilize this field and then tomorrow I will dump them and see what we get. Okay we fertilize the field it is now De or I'm sorry January and we need to go sell oh wait a minute wrong one we need to go sell some straw hayloft over here wrong silo and at the same time we're going to go sell our bells of silage they should be fermented we'll double check but they should be all the way fermented get this guy going quite a bit of straw there Take it to the biomass heating plant. Let's see if that works. Nope, doesn't work. Target is unreachable. Well, I'll tell you what, it's only a dollar difference. We'll take it to. stock market there we go all right he's gone and we're gonna take our hey look there's a deer there's some deer to the left farming similar to 22 has picked up the uh, 
wild animal thing a little bit. All right, let's go find this, because this is going to the same place. We'll just follow him, because I don't know how to get there. Hopefully I can keep up. This is my small tractor, it's not very powerful. He's in a faster vehicle. The AIs don't always. Okay, we'll dump this and uh, be back in a second. Okay, we're pulling up. Our load of straw is right ahead of us. We'll see how much we get for a load of straw. Because we get at least two loads in there. Getting some money for that. We'll get a lot more for silage, I'm telling you. <clears throat> All right. 4,900. Five grand. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not bad. Not bad. All right, guy, pull up. This is the right place, I guess so. Okay, we got almost 4,900 for the straw. This should be quite a few. Oh yeah, 43,000. I'll take it. Now keep in mind, uh, you know, we got a lot for the canola, but that was only one crop per year. We'll get four out of the year with this thing. So we'll put him back over here. Let him go back. And that's it. That's probably it for this episode. I'll catch you next time. So we're doing pretty well there. We got 62,000 here. I can pay back a lot of my loan. Keep a little bit in there. There we go. So I got 80,000 to borrow still. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So see you next time. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the channel if you like what you're seeing. I'll see you later. Bye bye.